Okay, good morning everyone. Led Zamplit here, uh, returning to the campaign and War on the Sea. Uh, if you caught the last episode, uh, let's actually jump right into the map. If you caught the last episode. We have been sparring constantly with uh, Japanese forces, uh, at least two fleets, potentially three fleets, operating in force around Savo Island, and we've been sparring with them. Visibility has been really poor, I think. I don't know if it's a bug in the map or if it's just bad visibility, but... For three days, again, locked in grips here in the in the uh, lower end of the slot southeast of Savo Island. Japanese have landed reinforcements. My Marines have taken about 200 casualties just in the past two days. My fleet is in retirement. Um, we are going to be launching a relief force. The intention of this next operation, and this is dicey, is we are going to be landing ground forces at Guadalcanal and I'm going to go take um, to Lagi at the same time. Now, there's currently the time is August 11th, 1942. All those naval battles occurred about two or three days ago. Um, this Japanese fleet is operating and my intention is to send more ground forces, more transports. I gotta get them in there. So anyways, I gotta go ahead and resolve this. Let's go ahead and resolve this naval uh, engagement. The USS Grouper, which I sent up here to relieve my subs that are just now retiring the albacore oh it was the silver sides that was sunk i thought the albacore was sunk i lost a sub here in the channel um so let's go ahead and resolve this I may want to take a pot shot of this fleet depending how close it is. It's off to my... Okay, let's go right full rudder. Race scope. Yeah, I may want to take a snipe at these guys, depending. Let's go ahead and start retreating. A little exercise option, but I actually don't. What the hell am I looking at? They're going to be at a, almost zero degrees. There they are. Okay. All right, Japanese fleet in sight. We got one of these ships peeling off. Have I been spotted? Now, I thought Japanese anti-submarine was an ineffective until the last game. I lost the USS Silversides to coordinate a depth charge attack, and this, and I, I totally forgot, or just didn't realize. Well, really, I didn't realize that Japanese heavy cruisers have depth charges. Um. I knew their light cruisers did. I know the Kumas and the, and the Tenroyus did, but I didn't know the Megami carried depth charges. And uh, so, anyways, I lost the Silver Sides last night. So, rudder midships. Our first target is target number. Target number two, identify potentially as a Megami class cruiser. No. Let's hit our recognition manual. Yeah, 
Man, they're booking. They're going 23 knots. What is that? Is that a um, Takeo? Yeah, that's a Takeo class cruiser. All right, identify target one as a Takeo class cruiser. 3,470 yards. Why is our torpedo solution no better in 26%? Current sea state is five. Visibility is 26%. I believe that. I can't see. It's a bit fuzzy. Alright, so I'm not getting a better solution than 26%, but I'm at an ideal angle. I don't understand why my torpedo solution isn't going up from here. Alright, well I'm just going to have to fire a full spread, 4%. Range is 2,700 yards. Fire. Okay, torpedoes away. Excellent. Dive, dive. Scope down. Take us down to 230 feet. Torpedoes are away. Time to impact? I have no freaking idea. But I might be able to... Okay, the torpedoes are now making their turn. There they are. Torpedoes in sight. So, I don't like, I got a bad feeling. My torpedoes have not been doing good. My subs have had very bad luck in hitting their targets. Even at 99 or 90% firing solution rating. So I don't know if that's a bug or what, but I don't know. It's also kind of realistic because World War II is rife with the ineffectual torpedo runs. Yeah, those are going to fall behind in this, but they are going to may potentially hit this uh, Puma. Puma class cruiser, I think. Or the Tenroy. I get those two mixed up. Maybe. Maybe. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, this thing is toast. All right, that's odd. That is not the, that is not the cruiser I targeted. Oh shoot, left full rudder. Make revolutions for three knots. All right, Japanese destroyers are on me. Okay, this is where it gets exciting. So this is turning into a, a... Where are we? We're at 230 feet. We got two Japanese destroyers inbound. Making revolutions for 30 knots. We're at left full rudder. Reestablish contact. Cruiser is sinking. Scratch one Japanese heavy cruiser. Or light cruiser. All right, Japanese destroyers are making their search. Let's go ahead and retreat, because you can actually retreat out of this game, even even though you're under depth charge attack, which is a bit gamey, but, you know, I don't want to spend this entire damn game trying to get away from these Japanese. Just give, them, just give them an opportunity to depth charge me for about three minutes, and then I'll bug out. Besides... It's already been proven they can sink one of my subs. Mm. 
All right, so they're making their search pattern. Besides, even after you end battle, the Jap you'll end up reacquiring enemies in just as favorable position as I was now. All right, currently making revolutions for three knots. Heading 341. Taking her rudders amidships. Got one Japanese destroyer. Looks like a Kabuki. Probably ha has just acquired me. Alright, prepare to kick her up to nine knots. What's our, uh, there's no layer, so there's no thermocline, so he's got, we got a Takeo that's behind me as well. Right full rudder. There it is, right up there, you can see its hull. All engines stop. Okay, he's right above me, just ahead of me. I've also got a heavy cruiser that's behind me, and you know, as I said, I look just learned that heavy cruisers also have depth charges. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could try. Okay, I will. Alright, so do I have depth charges landing? Yep. Boom. Alright, have we got any damage? Yeah, we got a fire in the front, torpedo room. Alright, engines ahead. Alright, rudders amidships. And I'm running parallel to that heavy cruiser there. yet? Yeah, I could leave. Alright, so the engagement is over. I've sunk uh, another 5,000 tons worth of Japanese capital ships. We've got minor damage. I got a fire in the torpedo room. So the Grunion, let's turn the Grunion's course to just northwest of Sabo Island. Okay, let's accelerate. Pause. Let's relieve this carrier. Actually, you can rearm, can it? I just want to. I want to release them and just rebuild. Completely new battle group. All right. We've got 258 command points. Everybody's retiring, and then we're gonna build up a brand new fleet. Return to port, everybody. Actually, let's go ahead and dispatch our first forces. One thing, okay, it is now midnight. I cannot launch until five in the morning. 
But let's go ahead and start building up our first battle group. Alright, um... My operational intent is to... Our, our primary focus is not to defeat the Japanese fleet, but to reinforce our ground forces on Guadalcanal. That is the focus of this operation. So, in order to do that, let's build up a new task group dedicated, first off, to doing just that. These suckers cost 10 bucks a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Escorted. Now the USS Russell. The USS Mustin. And USS Chicago, USS Louisville. All right. the relief force cost me 120 points that's half my points but we've got to supply our boys on Guadalcanal and we're gonna do this on a shoestring as well all right so set a course Directly for Guadalcanal. Formation will be circular. One, two, five. The uh, the the way to do formations in this game is is just wonky as heck, but. All right, do I want a destroyer at number eight? Yeah, I'm good with that. What about, so where are these other, number three, number four are in line ahead. Okay, I'm satisfied with that formation. That's good enough. All right, next battle group. Will consist of a covering force consisting of the USS Enterprise. Cost me 90 points there. I wish for the Enterprise to be escorted. By the USS Juno. Two destroyers of the Benson class, the Lansdale and the Laffrey. Cost me 124 points. I've got enough points to launch B-17 reconnaissance mission ahead of the fleet. Let us take a look at uh, formation. Let's do. Two column right with the Enterprise at the number three position, the Juno at the two position from the most likely direction of the enemy attack. All right, so there is my covering force. I wish for my covering force to operate southeast of Guadalcanal between the Rennell Island the straight over here to provide air cover for my massive Yankee Express landing force. When this landing force arrives, I'm going to supply it and 
we will deploy a small force to take both Florida Island and Santa Cruz Islands. We want to be able to start building air cover. Um, at Rennell Island in Santa Cruz. I want to have alternate base of operations besides just this long supply line here. So it's a little bit ambitious. I'm going to split this force in two and then um, we'll see what happens. All right. I think we're good to press play. Okay, groupers encounter an enemy force again, consisting of two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, two destroyers. It is now two in the morning. Um, let's check out this course again. So in 15 hours, at four o'clock in the mor in the afternoon tomorrow, I will be able to potentially launch a late afternoon strike. I wish there were plotting tools for this game. Um, so is that right? 15 hours? That's going to be... 15, 16, 17. Yeah, it's going to be about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. All right. Um, your course will take you in 43 hours. To the LZ, to the landing zone, to the beach, whatever you want to call it. 43 hours. So, shit. That's a long time. It's almost two damn days. So, my covering force is going to be operating out here for a while, and I may want to whip keep her further south because. Well, let's do that. I really just want to keep an eye on the Japanese, and then, no I don't, I need to pound them from the air, that's what I need to do, I have no other choice but to do that, I've got no other, okay, let's just press it. oh, I need to get, to... I need to do this, another submarine attack, I think, yep. I guess what I meant by that is until the Enterprise can get up there, I need to just keep an eye on these guys. My only eyes. Oh, and it looks like the game crashed. Alright, I didn't save Scum, but I do have an auto save. So let me exit out. And there's a game update. All right, hang on a second. So what happened is my, apparently the game crashed and now there's an update on it that is, um, that's processing. It's only 1.78 megabytes. So what the hell's taking it so long? Hmm. Very strange. I may have to kill this stream until this update. Oh, here we go. All right, let's turn it back on. Very good. All right, let's get back into it. I hope that patch didn't just completely wipe out. All right, we're back in. All right, so I've got to resolve this conflict. We've got the USS Grouper now. There's a Japanese fleet. Let's 
go ahead and get retreat. Oh, well, we could go ahead and retreat right now. All right. Okay, let's keep this moving forward. All right. Oh, every time you get back in the game, your courses get wiped out. 18 hours. So you have to reset your course every time you restart the game like that. It's just the damnedest thing, but... Okay. Grouper, the Grunion is currently... I'm going to ignore that, but these transports, I am going to... Split. The Dale. From... I'm going to split the Dale. I'm going to type C3 transport off. Alright, so, and they are going to load cargo consisting of... Okay, so I can't do mixed cargo. Well, that sucks. How come I can't do mixed cargo? I, I only want to send, like, a, you know, hell, a company of infantry to take Rennell or Santa Cruz Island. So you can only do one or the other. Okay, that's fine. I could deal with that. Um, so let's go ahead and just buy another... Uh, another... Can I buy a Cimarron? I'll just buy another C3 for now. Go ahead and select this and go ahead and lar load them with cargo consisting of twelve five hundred infantry and supplies. All right, did that work? Hard to tell when things actually work in this game. All right, 1250 infantry, 2000 supplies. I wish for you to take to Loggy. So do it. and get the sub over here and all right I wish for you to merge with I wish for you to merge there well look at that that worked all right they merged load up 1250 uh, infantry and 2000 supplies. And let's go ahead and take Rennell Island. We could at least get some Avengers, hopefully, to provide some air cover over time. Alright, here we go. We got contact. Let's see. The Grunion. It's just an air contact, so let's ignore. 
got another air contact. Let's ignore that. Still got air contacts. Just all float planes. You gonna clean up, baby? Good job. More. All right, this carrier is probably getting a little bit too close for my comfort here to this channel. It is now 4.15. I mean, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I can actually launch a flight of Dauntlesses consisting of six Dauntlesses up this channel. Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft again. There they are. Okay, enemy in sight. Consisting of two heavy cruisers. Enterprise is ready to launch another airstrike. So, I wish for her to launch a full airstrike of 12 Avengers. And strike the uh, enemy from the air constantly, all day long. It is 15, 14. It's 3 in the afternoon, so I may have time for another airstrike. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin this Dauntless airstrike. There they are. <coughs> Looks like I'll be able to, the grouper will be able to make a torpedo attack as well. Okay, enemy in sight. Pause. I want for my Dauntlesses. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I want these Dauntlesses. Here's what I want. I want Dauntless that and that to form up. And then I want you. You and you form up. So I want two strike forces, two strikes of uh, or two flights of Dauntlesses. Grouper is already in a in an excellent position to launch another torpedo attack. Um, so let's actually take a look at the Grouper. Let's actually put my Dauntlesses. Let's give them some time to form up. Let's take a look at the grouper. The grouper has got Japanese fleet in sight. So I want the grouper to make revolutions for two knots at periscope depth, ray scope. Give these time dauntlesses to form up. Sight. Wish for you to target that heavy cruiser. And they're at range 3,600 yards. I'm perfectly satisfied with that. Give us a good targeting solution. That is a Takeo class cruiser. Okay. And prepare to fire a spread of torpedoes. We got firing solution of 6%. I want a full spread. Ready? Fire. Torpedoes away. Down scope. 
dive. Right full rudder. All right. What's well, what are my dauntlesses doing? Okay, dauntlesses should be formed up in the two flights. I wish for you to position yourself abreast of the enemy. Okay, my dauntlesses are going to position themselves for an attack. In the meantime, do we have inbound torpedoes? Fired at about 3,600 yards. Japanese escorts behind are scattering. Rudders amidships. Where's my torps? There they are, torpedoes inbound. Those feel like they're gonna fall behind. Shit. This torpedo spread missed. This gun barely missed. Japanese sirens are sounding off. I just spotted the torpedoes. They just fell behind. Alright, my Dauntlesses are going to get ready to strike next. I want these heavy cruisers. are almost in position to launch a strike from midships. Not worried about the grouper right now. Well, there is a Japanese light cruiser. It's peeled off. Alright, we got two flights of three. Warm up on Vic. And let's put you into Victor formation. There's a Japanese fleet. Let's pause the game. Wish for your flight. Okay, I wish for your flight to target that heavy cruiser, and I wish for your flight to target that Takeya. Attack. Attack. Press play. Alright, here we go. Dauntless is moving in to strike the enemy fleet. The uh, grouper has already sunk a light cruiser this morning. This is a uh, mid-afternoon airstrike on the enemy. It is August 12th, 1942. We're about ready to take some flak. Roger, gold leader. <laughs> We're about to hit the Death Star. We're about to take all kinds of flack. Hang on, boys. All right, here comes the flag. I love this. This is beautiful. 
Here we go. We're making our dive in. Hit those heavy cruisers, boys, for glory. Oh, missed. Oh, you boys all missed. Uh-oh. Not good. I've lost one Dauntless. Let's book the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. We lost one Dauntless, and we did not hit any target. Get out of there. Shit. Lost another Dauntless. Now that required a little micromanagement to get my guys out of the target area. Ah, they took a lot of it's two casualties that I could have done without, and that was a failed airstrike. I've got a dilemma now. I got a failed torpedo strike. I've got a failed airstrike. I got a full flight of Avengers moving in. I'm hoping for better luck with them. Alright, so Grouper. Grouper can make a kill here. Grouper. Make left full rudder. Revolutions for five knots. Come up to periscope depth. We've got a lone Japanese light cruiser here, and I smell blood in the water. Prepare to open fire. Are my tubes loaded? The tubes are not loaded. Reloading in a minute and 84 seconds. Rudders and midships. You know, I, I can't leave in two minutes anyways. Lost contact with it. I am coming to periscope depth. Come up to 30 feet. Got a lone like cruiser out there. Depth 50 feet. Torpedoes will be loaded in two minutes. Oh, that's two minutes for every torpedo. It's worth squeezing the shot off. This game takes so long though, sometimes. That timer resets if I open fire. I can't time compress. Yeah, that sucks. stuck here. I'm definitely going to leave the battle, but we've got to wait another minute. Ten seconds. It's irritating as hell. I hope they fix that. Come on, that periscope up. Japanese light cruiser spotted. Down scope. Yeah, 
I do have aptitudes. I totally forgot about that. That's it. They're not loading anymore. That's my full load of torpedoes. 30 seconds to leave. I mean, the grouper did sink a light cruiser, so it's had a satisfactory score thus far, but it had to use a lot of torpedoes to get there. Alright, so yeah, he's got heavy damage on him. Alright, I got one more airstrike inbound. We're going to RTB him, and we're going to position the Grunion just just uh, east of Savo Island. Meantime, oof, it's gonna be dicey, real dicey. Next airstrike going in. Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft. Launching a strike of six Dauntlesses. Attack and move up this channel. Continue to pound the enemy fleet, which doesn't know when to retreat. Oh! It's Avenger. Set a course northwest. They got 137 nautical miles. Where'd the Japanese fleet go? Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft again. Enemy fleet sighted. Let's sipes come. Okay, Japanese spotted east to Lunga Point. got three flights of Avengers. We should be able to... Enemy... Japanese fleet spotted. Perfect position. I wish for you... to target that cruiser attack. Flight number two. Wish for you to target cruiser number two attack. Flight number three, wish for you to target an attack. What does that fleet look like? Yeah, that's a light cruiser. Okay. You're attacking one, you are attacking two, we're attacking target three. And these targets are two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser. Press play. Alright, here we go. Alright, boys. I got a flight with Yasto 5 that I'm missing right now. That's my, uh, it's a clan that I'm a recruit in. It's a, uh, it's a flying circus, IL-2 Sturmovic flying circus. Um, I actually have a lot more videos on, on Facebook, but I'm only just now started streaming on uh, YouTube. But I do a flying circus, which is... IL-2 Sturmovic World War I dogfighting game. I do that in VR. And I'm going to 
recruit for a squadron in the Austin 5. You know, they do formation flying in the old, you know, it's a German Imperial Air Service squadron. Um, so it's pretty cool. I, you know, I don't like flying the triplane. I like flying the Falls 3. It's one of my favorite aircraft to fly. And I tell you what, flying in World War I aircraft in VR is a magnificent experience. So I hope, uh, hope you'll join me on some of my other videos as I start to do that on YouTube. But uh, you can like me on Facebook as Led Zamplet. I do some video streaming, a lot more video streaming on Facebook. But like I said, I'll be doing a lot more streaming on YouTube now. All right, squadrons are moving in for the attack. Here we go. The enemy fleet is kind of scattering in the back. Here we go, boys. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh my gosh. Get ready. Taking a lot of hits. Haven't lost anyone yet. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes away. Lost one, lost two, lost three. Oh my gosh, this is costly. Lost four. Holy smokes, these Avengers have taken heavy hits. We hit any targets. Look, Japanese avoided that torpedo. Oh my god. We got one torpedo strike. Yeah, they did not attack at an ideal angle. The AI did a great job avoiding those torpedoes. Like I said, at this game is crazy as the interface is, it really gives you the results that you expect from a, from a war game of, of its ambitions, you know? Alright, so I lost five Avengers in that exchange. I believe for one torpedo hit. I don't know, we need to buck up the Enterprise's air crews here. Their Dauntlesses didn't score a single hit. I got one torpedo hit out of one... Well, actually, I guess I got two torpedo hits. Why is he smoking? I don't remember him taking a torpedo. What about you? He didn't take anything, but he looks sick. He looks like he has COVID. All right, we can leave this battle. Moderate damage, moderate damage, heavy flooding. I mean, we're pounding this fleet from the air. Enterprise can launch another airstrike. It's my last reserve. It's four Dauntlesses. Okay, you can RTB. We've got two Dauntless strikes coming in. Hang on. Where'd the fleet go? Where'd the Japanese fleet go? You got 217 nautical miles left to search for that fleet and bomb the hell out of it. You got 135 nautical miles. Where'd that fleet go? It's almost dark, so visibility is down. This is a problem. There it is. Enemy flight sighted. Redirect your course 
two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, one destroyer. Let's save scum. Begin. Okay, I wish for you to form up with your two buddies here in Vic formation. Then I wish for you to form up in Vic formation. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Okay, so look at that. They form up beautifully. And there's some aspects of the... Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Pause, pause, pause. What are we dealing with here? We're dealing with a scattered Japanese fleet, but the two ships at the lead of their formation is the two heavy cruisers that I want to kill the most. Attack that target. Attack that target. Now, I've been generally attacking in a swarm, in a, in a, a concentrated attack. Uh, what I probably could afford to do, but I just don't have the time or the patience to do it, is to launch from multiple angles. Um, that may become a necessity if the Enterprise continues to take these egregious losses to its air cover. Or a tear wing. Because these ships can throw up a lot of flak. I mean, I'm really surprised I've taken this many losses considering the Hornet. <coughs> when the Hornet was operating in this channel five days ago, its air crews were doing fantastic. Alright, bombs away. Gotta hit. Good job. All right, that's better. Much better. What about you? What the hell did you just drop your bombs on, you fools? Get out of here. Oh shit, we got zeros. We're getting jumped by zeros. Oh no, it's on. We got a Japanese Zero. Oh shit. This is the first time we've been jumped by Zeros. Oh no, this could mean an enemy carrier is operating off Guadalcanal. Shoot that sucker down. Get out of here, boys. We got Zeros on our tails. They're still taking flak and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Ah, we just lost one. We lost the Dauntless to Japan. Let's get the hell out of here, boys. Let's retreat. We got two minutes and 70 seconds to retreat before we get shot down. Okay, this is why this game, you need to be able to launch mixed air groups because I'd be launching escorts with every single aircraft airstrike I, I could. Shit, I'm about to lose another one. We got another one going down. Shot down that Japanese, but look, there's another one. Shot down another one of my aircraft. This is bad. God, totally got Enterprise's air wing. It's just got bad luck. They're 
firing away, but it's too late, man. They're all gone. They're all hosed. There we go. Lost my entire air wing. This is not good. This changes. This changes things. In the meantime, the Grunion. Can we get some revenge here? Grunion's got six torpedoes. She's got a heavy cruiser burning off her port bow. Who's this? Does he spot me? Grunion, I wish for you to come down to zero knots and take her down to 60 feet. We're going to squeeze some torpedoes off these uh, sick little boats here. we have currently got a search pattern for the Grunion. Chumped by zeros. That was uh. So that tells me now zeros got a long range. It could be flying all the way from St. George Island or wherever the F it is and provide air cover over the slot. My Wildcats don't have that level of air cover. I mean, that could be land based air cover for all I know, but I, I gotta believe now that there's an enemy carrier operating out. That is a possibility. Look, Japanese Zeros, where the hell are they operating out of? How are we doing, Grunion? We're gonna be able to. We got a sick Japanese cruiser out there. The enemy's passing over. Come uh, left half rudder. Come up the periscope depth. Ready tubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Depth is 50 feet. Make revolutions for two knots. Actually, let's go left full rudder. Periscope up. Target rich environment. I wish to squeeze three torpedoes on this cruiser. Spread of two. And while we're doing this, let's go ahead and recognize it. Recognized as a Kuma class cruiser. Torpedo solution at 60%. Prepare to fire. It's about as good as she's going to get, right? Fire tubes. One. Two, fire tube three. Okay. Let's get a ready tubes four through six. Target. 
Takeo class cruiser. Tubes. Ready. I mean, I got a perfect shot on this baby. Come on, get that torpedo solution up. Seventy two, seventy four, seventy six, seventy eight, eighty, eighty two, hundred and eighty two. Let's go ahead and fire. Down scope. Dive two thirty feet, make revolutions for two knots, left full rudder. Okay, torpedoes are making their turns. Oh, the Kuma just took a hit. All right, so my first spread hit that Kuma. And we're about to get three torpedo hits on this Japanese heavy cruiser. So the Grunion has done excellent work, just Dud hit two torpedo strikes. Good work. Grunion's making revolutions for three knots. We have no layer. Rudders and midships, let's go ahead and leave this engagement. That's a great job. We got a burning Japanese fleet here in the channel. I mean, at this point, I think I've got enough surface, uh, enough in my escort force to. Well, what I need to do is rearrange the fleet. in 50 seconds to get the heck out of here. Let's take a look right quick. Been in 50 seconds to get the heck out of here. Still two minutes to get the hell out of here. Although we've got a vessel that looks like it's bearing down on me. And it is this heavy cruiser. He doesn't have any sonar. He's not banging any sonar. But really, these Japanese just seem drunk. I mean, they're just not... their act together. I mean, they're lucky they're not at the bottom of the sea, except for those zeros. So I've got to wonder... Am I dealing with a Japanese carrier or am I dealing with long-range air cover? And this is what this game gives you if you give it the time. If you give this game the time, and you invest in it, it will give you some great operational dilemma. Even though you're kind of left on your own to deal with uh, a lack of tools, 
help you assess those operational uh, dilemmas and analyze them better kind of on your own. You know, there's no plotting table tools. Um, you can't even zoom into the action area very well. The one thing this game, all right, so the Kuma is sinking. So scratch, definitively scratch one Japanese like creature. But the one thing this game gives you over Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts is at least it gives you a mini map. So, but Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts doesn't, you know, pretend to be anything more than early alpha. So I, I give the game grace and I have high expect or high expectations, and high hopes for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This game's already got what it has, got it, got what it needs to provide a deep excitement, slow burning excitement, despite the amount of time I have to put into it. Okay, we can leave the combat zone. Sunk, another light cruiser, 5,000 tons. So that squadron is moving in to attack Enterprise. It's too late in the afternoon to launch an air, air, another airstrike. Fifty-two miles. This airstrike missed. It's nine in the evening. RTB. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Enterprise is going to hover south of Guadalcanal. Hoping to God I don't get jumped by a Japanese surface action group. Okay, Grunion has contact again with two heavy cruisers and two destroyers. So I'm going to want to. Let's see what happens here. I'll tell you what happens. The game crashes. So let's get an exit out of it. Get back in. Just reload. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do the auto save. Quit. Campaign. Load. Auto save. Here we are. Okay, so we have an encounter with the Grunion at uh, just after midnight. Sea state is six. It's overcast. It's dark. Let's see what happens. Take us up to periscope depth. Race scope. Here's that jet fleet. go ahead and leave the engagement because I don't see anything anyways but there's the enemy and we're gonna reset our course and stay well clear of that Japanese fleet meantime every time you restart the game you've got to set your courses again He said it's one in the morning.
Enterprise, I wish for you to move northeast. There could be a Japanese carrier lurking off of here, is the problem. What I want to do is launch a fighter sweep over the enemy fleet. Let's not forget that. There could be a carrier operating over here. Okay, Runyon's got another encounter. Well, there's a Japanese fleet, but it's way too far behind me, so I don't... I just want to keep an eye on him right now. Okay, it's daylight. I'm taking enormous risks. It is six in the it is seven in the morning. I wish to launch a fighter sweep of eight wildcats. Over the target area. Find any enemy aircraft and knock them out of the sky. Run the encounter must be resolved. That's fine. I'll take that encounter. Up the scope. Japanese fleet sighted. Fifty-four hundred yards left. Full rudder. What's our torpedo state? We have six torpedoes. That same Japanese fleet, those two heavy cruisers are damaged. Identify target. Okay, class cruiser. Identify target. As uh, potentially a Aoba. Identify target as an Aoba class heavy cruiser. Target the Takeo. Rudders amidships. Make revolutions for five knots. Depth 30 feet. Ready torpedo tubes. One, two, and three. Stand by to fire. Well, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and fire these torpedoes. Are we not loaded. Fire. You know, let's make this our only torpedo spread. I need to preserve my torpedoes. I wish I could time compress all the way to torpedo impact. Let's see, identify that AO button. Aoba, range, 4,500 yards. Hi, baby. How are you now? My goodness. I 
I got a 66 percent firing solution in the Takeo on the on the Aoba. Targeting Aoba now. You gotta, it's weird, you gotta stop the director or control room from calculating a solution on something and retarget something else. Alright, we've got 70% firing solution on the Aoba, fire tubes, 4 through 6. Down scope, dive, left full rudder. You're seeing those torpedoes here soon. those torpedoes. That's why you gotta wait forever on this game. Let's go ahead and leave. Well, I can leave instantly, but uh, I want to see what happens to my torpedoes. There they are. Right there. Coming in. He's moving three knots. We'll get hit with two of these torpedoes. Grunion has done a fantastic job. I've been really disappointed in my submarine forces with uh, last night when I was playing, but Grunion has done an excellent job. I had a lot of missed torpedoes, but. turning. Man, these torpedoes are sluggish. He's got torpedo bulges. That's gonna help him. There's so our torpedoes. One hit, right on his stern. Those torpedoes are gonna miss. Go ahead and leave. Sunk the Takeo. Nice. Let's take a look at losses so far. We've lost one Gato submarine, the Silver Sides. We've managed to sink a lot of cruisers. A lot of cruisers. I hadn't even sunk a destroyer yet. Long, and the Japanese have lost nine cruisers in this exchange. But they're very aggressive, and I've got to land my troops, and they could still turn the tide of this battle. Okay, so my fighter sweep is moving through. Oh, shite! We are under aerial observation over the Enterprise. And I'm scrambling four Wildcats immediately.
we could have ourselves a major naval battle, but right now I need to withdraw the Enterprise. These guys are going to move in during the night. I got to take the risk. I got to land my troops and get the hell out of here. Okay, here we go. The Enterprise has now been spotted by a Japanese float plane. Let's ignore that contact for now until my fighters can... Let's take them into the world. Japanese float planes around here. I want to shoot that sucker down. almost the afternoon. Okay, the Enterprise Task Group has been under aerial observation by float planes. I currently have a flight cap of four Wildcats. I've got this Wildcat squadron currently making a fighter sweep. It is 7.41 in the morning. This fleet will be there in 12 hours. So it will be arriving in the evening. It will be arriving right at dusk. Enterprise. Okay, for one thing, I am going to want the Chicago to launch Kingfisher. He can fly 351 nautical miles, so I want him to start covering this channel with this Kingfisher. Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft. Holy crap, we've got enemy aircraft sighted. We're gonna have ourselves a dogfight. Let's save. So I've launched a fighter sweep, and there are enemy aircraft airborne. This is the first aerial encounter that we've had in this game. Enterprise can launch aircraft. I wanna keep that I wanna keep that cap over my carrier. He's got 229 nautical mile range. All right, here we go. Pause. What have we got? Oh shit, we got ourselves a dogfight, boys. Japanese Zeros. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is the sort of stuff that I think this game kind of shines in. Like, you gotta dig for it, man. But look, we're about to have ourselves a real dogfight. Holy smokes. Okay. Alright, I wish for you. Target. This flight. The rest of you keep flying. Okay, here we go. Boom, shot one zero down. Go in and get him. Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. But what are you Wildcats doing? It's only one Japanese formation. Target number four, engage. Actually, let's go ahead and break these fighters up into flights of two. Looks like we outnumber them. Flight 
form up in echelon left. Form up, echelon left. Target him, attack. No, well, no, 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 no. You, form up, echelon left. I wish for you to attack that target. I wish for you to attack that target. He's the formation leader. This Wildcat Squadron. Form up. Echelon right. Then I wish for you to attack target number four. You. Form up, echelon right. I wish for you to target that formation. Attacking four, attacking one, attacking one. Okay, so what I've done is broken them up into, into uh, flights of two. Uh, Jacob, I'll probably be streaming maybe around three o'clock. Um, we'll we'll kind of see. My day is a little bit chopped up. Look at that. <laughs> that was that Japanese Zero I shot down. I hate that I have to pause this, but here we go. We got some dog fighting going on. Scratch one jab. Look at my fighters peeling off. Whoa, they're on our tail, boys. Break off, break off. Get them, you're on them. You're on them, fire, fire. <laughs> Scratch one Japanese, pause the game. Wish for you to target him. Wish for you to target flight number one, which looks like he's booking the hell out of here. Good job, boys. Find those other Japanese zeros and knock them out of the sky. There we go on his tail. Got another zero. Good job. Alright, Enterprise Air Group is is uh, redeeming itself. It jumped a squadron of four zeros. They were outnumbered eight to four. We got one damaged Wildcat, but uh, the enemy appears to be withdrawing. Okay, let's for have all squadrons, let's have two squadrons form up on me, echelon right, return to, oh, no, attack, attack that zero, and then this squadron form up echelon right, at this waypoint. And actually, head back north. So that's excellent. I, I wish I didn't have to pause that so much because, man, that initial encounter, zoom, when they came in like that and shot down that zero and started curling around smoking, that was a good, that's a good gaming moment. Yeah. This game can give you that. For another minute, and so. Okay, those aircraft were heading back north. I don't know if there's an enemy carrier operating over here or what, north of Tulagi. The Enterprise just did a fantastic job shooting down four zeros for the loss of none. We got one damaged fighter. 
Japanese fleet is over here, retiring up the slot. Grunion may not may have another shot. Hang on. We're at periscope depth, up scope. How many torpedoes we got? We got six torpedoes. I can look at a firing solution on this, uh... what we identify to be an AOBA class cruiser. He's booking, he's going 24 knots. And at one, uh, just before the firing solution's calculated, I'll have to left full rudder. So he's outpacing the big time. 74%. We're going to fire the rest of our torpedoes on a 3% spread. 86%. Alright, head left full rudder. Ready to fire torpedo spread. Tubes one through six ready to fire. Yes, baby. Oh, Blanky's gonna hang out with me. My daughter's blanket. Hang out with me. All right. Okay, that's good firing position. Center rudder. Rudders amidships ready to open fire on the AOBA. Fire tubes one through six. If the Grunion could get more good luck here. Down scope. Dive. Okay, this Japanese cruiser is heading heading hell for leather out the slot up the slot, heading at 20, 24 knots. Grunion just fired a torpedo shot. Let's see what happens here. Man. I don't know. They fled up north. I tend to think there may be a Japanese carrier force operating uh, north of Guadalcanal. So that fighter sweep turned out to be a pretty... Uh, Possibly two station, two uh, stationary surface action groups in our bottom sound, one on each side of the sound. Possibly. I'm worried about a carrier group out there, though. My ships are expected to land at night here, so if there's a second surface action group here, I don't know. I'm taking a lot of risks, no doubt, but I gotta, I gotta help my boys out on the island. these torpedoes. These torpedoes should be showing up by now. Hell, I fired six of them. Accelerate the moments. It's such a bummer. Where are my torpedoes? Not much left in this enemy fleet. Sunk that heavy cruiser, that last heavy cruiser. They've taken so many losses of cruisers. Alright, I'll leave in 90 seconds.
the F am I talking? He knows. You know what? This is a good opportunity opportunity for me to run and grab another coffee. I'm gonna go grab another coffee. I'll be right back. Oh, there they are. They fell behind. Yep, Grunny and Mist with their spread. Those torpedoes are falling behind. Alright, so be it. I got 47 seconds. I'll be right back. Gonna go grab another coffee. damage, minor damage. So that fighter sweep, I still got 102 nautical miles. Let's do an air search. I got 100 nauti 100 nauti 102 nautical miles. Let's continue to do an air search. In that direction. These wildcats got 24 nautical miles. Runyon's out of torpedoes. We need to... Okay, enemy air. I'm concerned about that. My wildcats are proceeding north to see if they can spot the enemy fleet. aircraft. Enemy fighters. Groupers under air attack. Well, she's under air attack. Dive. Diving planes down. All planes down bubble, whatever you call it. Oh, they're firing on enemy ships. I told you to dive. Uh oh, this is not good. What are these? Japanese zeros. Oh, they're gonna strafe my sub. Oh, that's awesome! Get the hell out of here! Okay, no damage. We dove, we're good. Damn. Enemies 
flying air, strong air cover over the target area. Okay, I can leave in 80 seconds. Compress out of that. Thank God. All right, so we're good. Enterprise is moving to the southeast, shying away from potential air contact. Actually, no. Let's keep her. Let's keep her a little bit close here. Wildcats are returning to base. It's nine in the morning. My Kingfisher is about to get shot down. Let's do another fighter sweep. Enterprise cannot launch for another 10 minutes. Okay. It's about to get hot in this game, so I think we've got enemy aircraft now engaged over the channel, so I need to end this stream and possibly pick it up later on this afternoon, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is episode three of the War on the Sea campaign. Again, we are currently engaging with enemy aircraft. We had two Wildcat squadrons engaged with the Japanese Zero flight, knocked them down out of the sky. My troops are expected to land in the evening. I'm going to keep this task force here. Next episode, I'll be launching a... Uh... Did my cap? What happened to my cap? I didn't... Okay, so my cap landed. Anyways, I'm going to be launching a fighter... <coughs> Excuse me, a fighter sweep up the channel. And uh, we got still got 26 command points. I may send some B-17s out in that direction. Um... Let's go ahead and rearm the sub right click and then we will uh, let's see release. release okay all right so we've got this fleet headed to Rennell Island this fleet headed to Lagi and then this fleet headed to Guadalcanal and uh, we need to dominate the airspace so again, I'll be launching uh, fighter sweeps in the next round. So hopefully I'll get back around to this this afternoon. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll talk with you soon.